Well, they had no idea they would see their own buddies blow into pieces, and they had no idea that they would be part of a battle that would change the course of history. And they were young. The average age was just 19 years old. Of course, we're talking about D-Day. For five years, Hitler had most of Europe in his clutches, and young men stood in long lines to volunteer in a fight for freedom. June 6th is the 75th anniversary of D-Day, the day when 50 miles of beaches along France changed the course of the world. And before it's too late, it's a time to listen to the few D-Day veterans here in Jacksonville that we still have with us. And tonight, I want you to meet John Frank. When I talk with him, he told me some things that apparently his son said he has never shared before. Do you have a mascot? Yeah, 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 the little doggy queen. Fun talk. I just turned 19. And fun photos. You just go in and do what you got to do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but not for long. I think about him many a time, many a time. Many a time. John Frank, seaman, first class, trained as a cook at NAS Jacks. Then on June 6th. 7 o'clock in the morning. 1944. Here's the day on the way in. His job, the LCT. Landy craft tanks. He took equipment to the beaches. But then everything for him changed. You've seen the movie Saving Private Ryan, Omaha Beach, bloody Omaha. I was just a kid. We were all kids. He was sent in to pick up the bodies. They couldn't get him out right away because of the mines. And he experienced the one thing the movie could not portray. They laid there for days and days and days, and it smelled terrible. To this day, if I talk about it or think about it, I can smell it. And that wasn't all. No, sometimes it's arms and legs. Sometimes they got no head. But we're picking up the parts and bringing them in, and they put them on an army truck. So you were doing that with your bare hands? Yeah. Yeah, bare hands. But Mr. Frank is proud of his service. You know, some people say that you all saved the world. Well, you could say that, yeah. It took Hitler out of power. God knows where he was going to stop. So for this 75th anniversary of D-Day, Mr. Frank wants to leave a message in Normandy. So what would he put down? Liberation? A little cross. The cemetery. You want me to put it there? Yeah with his own handwriting. Because a lot of men died that day. I know we picked them up. And the rest of us can say thank you for your service. 75 years later, it still, still brings tears to your eyes. Oh yeah, it does. It's a sad thing. But it is hardly enough. Hmm. You know, I was telling you earlier when we started this story that his son sort of whispered to me afterwards, I've never heard dad talk about all these deals. And I think that the details are coming out now because these veterans know they're aging and they really want to impress on the rest of us that we need to stop and appreciate our right. freedom. They have you know? to tell their stories. Listening to him, they're saying he had to pick up body parts with his bare hands. I cannot imagine. I'm sure yeah. it's something that... Well, and I was kind of nervous about asking him. I wasn't sure yeah. that was okay to ask, but I was thinking that and he honestly said, yeah, with my bare hands. Mm -hmm. Wow.